Facebook, YouTube, what's up guys? Good morning, good morning. Right now I'm in the Alpharetta, Milton, Georgia area. We have a big, nice project today. Um, this is the residence of Miss, Mrs. Allison and her husband, Dave. I came out here about two weeks ago um, after they found me on YouTube and um, they have a lot of issue like a lot of homeowners uh, they're maids okay a lot of people that live in these type of neighborhoods they have cleaning people that come and clean the floors and for years the maids was putting quick shine on the floors well immediately after years they started to realize that something was not right with their floors uh, they actually told me they had uh, other companies come out told them that they would have to replace the floors because of this issue and uh, Dave told me he had got a quote for thirty thousand dollars to replace these floors, okay? Because they are engineer, all right. So I came out here two weeks ago, um, did a consultation, gave them a price. Um, it was one thousand four hundred sixty-eight square feet, and also twenty-eight stairs. So what we're going to be doing today, guys? Um, we're going to be removing the wax from these floors, and I'm going to give you a so I'll show you. So you see how these floors have a high gloss all right see all those scuff marks you can see where a rug was see these uh marks right here let me zoom in see right there guys and actually when i came out here i did a demo and that's what uh sold them was the demo that i did right here all right so again, guys, they have all the furniture moved out because they was doing other projects that are actually in their kitchen remodel, which is beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I love this island, man. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is removing the wax, um, $2.50 a square foot, and then also 28 stairs. We're going to be also removing wax and then screening and recoding the stairs. All right. So I'll show you what we're going to be doing. All of this big open area. All right, then we got this hallway. Now you see right here, guys, this is how they want their floors to look because they had a rug here and you can see the outline. And this is how they, they want their floors to go back to this, to its original state. So all this wax on the floors here, all this wax on the floors here, and then all these stairs right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna go start setting up. Scobie will probably be here in an hour. Uh, Mr. Bobby will probably be here about 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start bringing in the equipment and um, go ahead and get started. And then I'm going to let Scobie and Bobby take over around 12, 1 o'clock because I have two more consultations to go do today. And uh, stay tuned. Now, on job like this, it's like, 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 All right, guys, when I tell you there are so many layers of wax on this floor. This is probably one of the worst ones I've ever uh, done. Um, you can see the difference right there, that floor right there. We probably had to go over that area three times to get the wax off. So remember, when, you, when, you, when we are doing wax removal, we are working from the top down, not the bottom up. Scobie is actually here. Mr. Bobby is helping him bring his stuff in. And, um, but we are getting it off. And like I said, with this, with the, with this type of process, um, Sometimes you just have to repeat the same process to get all the wax down because again, we're working from the bottom down, uh, not the top up. All right guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, again, we're taking it one step at a time. 
layers at a time. So you can see right here, if you look really close, that's still just layers and layers of wax on the floor. But if you come over here, if you remember that line that was right here, so that's a good indication that we're getting off and we're getting back to the original state of the floors. But you still see that light film. So this will actually be the third time we would have to repeat this process. Um, and this is why this process is not cheap. We charge $2.50 a square foot because when they have so much wax on the floors, actually screening and recoding is a whole lot uh, easier than wax removal. Some companies don't even offer wax removal. And I had guys that I have trained and they told me, Courtney, after two or three wax removals, they said they would not do it because it's a very intensive job and uh, it takes a lot of manpower, a lot of uh, chemistry, a lot of tools, as you can see. So it takes a lot to get this wax off the floor. So we're again, um, we're just taking it, you know, layers at a time. But as you can see, we're almost getting down to those last few layers. And then what we're gonna do, just concentrate. Now, Mr. Bobby, I'm teaching him to go around the edges with a scraper, that way we won't affect the baseboards. Um, and then once we get it off, then we're gonna do any touch-ups, and then we're just gonna mop and neutralize the whole floor one, one, uh, at, at one time, and then we will be done. So Scobie is actually over here in the dining room, the hallway. And then me and Mr. Bobby still have all this to do. So once I finish all that over there, we're gonna swing around, hit this, and then work out the door, all right? So this guy's this job is very intense. See that wax coming off? All right, guys, stay tuned. YouTube, let me tell you guys something. We usually don't get any jobs that kick our butt. Very rare, okay? But I will say this job kicked our butt. But we won the battle. Guys, look at these floors now. My, customer, my client is ecstatic with the results. Floors came out amazing. Um, you can just see, and what I think happened, um, I think the cleaning people basically start putting the finish, uh, the wax on the floors. And you can just see how beautiful the original finish are on these floors. I mean, just a beautiful floor, man. I really, really like this floor. It's not your typical hand scrape that you see in a lot of our videos. Um, but guys, this, this job came out amazing. Um, and I'm very, 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 happy with the results all right uh, we also got the uh, stairs screen or recoded as you can see uh, we went with a matte finish don't want to you know have a uh, have a very little shine sheen in it all right all right guys now I will say this okay the reason why we have a great reputation is because how we treat our clients these this client had their um, kitchen remodeled um because of a water leak well guys if you look at the trim here okay look here look see all the trim when we when we use when we get the wax from around the edges we use scrapers all right so you see the you see the paint on these trims right here well over here the the uh, the, the uh, guy who painted he's going to come back tomorrow let me zoom in and show you all right the paint came off the trim around the, the quarter rounds all right and I have never, ever seen this happen before. Well, I just got off the phone with Austin. He's the owner of Pro Coat. He makes uh, paints and finishes. He's, you know, the guy who probably your thing we use. And he said, Courtney, the reason why that happened is because they use oil-based paint. And it was still curing. And it plus, oil-based is not chemical um, and water-resistant. So um, this is why that happened. I did tell my client, even though it happened on our watch, um, but we could have not avoided that. 
um, whatever it costs to paint this trim over, which is not going to be much, guys. I've I've actually had it done a few times, you know, two, three hundred dollars at the most, and it was a lot more than this. But whatever it costs to, to fix this, um, if they, you know, charge me, I will pay for it. But that did happen um, on this job. And things do happen, guys. You know, um, I have clients, I have not clients, I have companies that hire me to fix mistakes. Um, you know, when their technicians scratch floors or, you know, uh, put a chemical on the floor and things like that. So I will say um, a lesson learned from this video and especially to my contractors. When things like this happen, guys, let the customer know. Let Do not try. I had a kid that was working for me about five years ago, and he actually put a hole in the client's wall. OK. And when I asked him about it, he told me he didn't do it. Well, again, guys, I was on that job and I video recorded that job. And this was a good client of mine that I had worked for for years. And I knew they wouldn't, you know, they no, they're not going to make stuff up, you know, up like that. So when I went back and watched the video, when, when I when I was recording upstairs, exactly where the hole was, it was not there before we got started. And I checked my filter, you know, in the in the, in the dirty water uh, tank, and it was sheetrock dust. And I confronted um, the guy about it, and he finally told me. And I said, "Listen, man, you you you, you didn't have to lie to me. This is nothing that can't be fixed. Okay, mistakes happen. Okay, you you know." But I did have to fire him, you know, for lying to me. Not that he put a hole in the wall, but lying to me. Because, again, it's an easy fix. You know, I sent my handyman out there, and he fixed it for 60 bucks. okay? So, guys, when things like that happen, let your clients know. Um, that's why I have uh, contractors. That's why I have painters. Um, because when those guys will come help me. Um, and vice versa. When they have issues, um, they'll call me to come fix their mistakes. And that's all it is, guys. It's just a mistake. Nobody comes into a house intentionally trying to ruin a home, all right? Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm about to go home. Uh, I had a job tomorrow, but she's having carpet put in her house tomorrow and i'm going to screen to recoat her stairs and the carpet guy told her he did not want to put painters tape on the stairs because it will pull up the finish so we rescheduled to next wednesday so tomorrow i have two consultations and um and that's it and i'll be relaxing tomorrow getting ready for friday and saturday all right guys thanks again for watching see you in the next one